Subscribing and liking the content. Give us a like to continue delivering the most important information. Stay safe by being vigilant. With that out of the way, let's delve into today's news. Chinese state-sponsored hackers compromise U.S. ISPs using zero-day vulnerability in Versa Director. In a highly sophisticated cyber attack, Chinese state-backed hackers have successfully exploited a critical zero-day vulnerability in Versa Director, a network management tool used by internet service providers, ISPs, and managed service providers, MSPs, across the United States. This attack, which began no later than June 2024, has resulted in the infiltration of at least four major U.S.-based ISPs and one in India, compromising the credentials of countless downstream customers. Attack Overview Exploiting Versa Director The vulnerability, tracked as CV 2024-39717, allows attackers to upload unsanitized Java files into the Versa Director systems, giving them administrative control. By installing a custom web shell named VersaM, the hackers were able to intercept and steal user credentials and plain text before they were encrypted. This exploit enabled the attackers to gain deep access to the networks managed by the compromised ISPs, including the ability to deploy additional malware. The attack was particularly stealthy due to the advanced techniques employed. The malicious code operated entirely in memory significantly reducing the chances of detection by traditional antivirus and endpoint protection systems. Furthermore, the attackers leveraged compromised Soho, small office slash home office, routers to mask their activities, a tactic frequently associated with Chinese and Russian state-sponsored hacking groups. Potential impact and response. The implications of this breach are far-reaching. Given the critical role of ISPs in managing and securing vast networks that serve millions of customers, the stolen credentials could potentially be used to launch further attacks on these customers, leading to significant security breaches and data theft. Versa Networks has issued a patch for the vulnerability, urging all users to update their systems immediately. However, the patch release does not mitigate the potential damage already done by the attackers who may have already exfiltrated sensitive data or established persistent access within the compromised networks. Attribution and ongoing threat. The tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, observed in this campaign closely align with those of Volt Typhoon, a highly sophisticated Chinese state-sponsored hacking group. Volt Typhoon has a history of targeting critical infrastructure in the United States, including sectors such as energy, transportation, and communications. The group is known for its ability to maintain long-term access within compromised networks, positioning itself to disrupt operations in the event of geopolitical tensions. This attack is part of a broader strategy by Chinese state actors to infiltrate and potentially disrupt critical infrastructure in the U.S. and allied nations. The fact that the attackers remained undetected for so long underscores the need for enhanced monitoring and rapid response capabilities among ISPs and other critical service providers. Looking forward, as the investigation continues, organizations using Versa Director are urged to review the indicators of compromise provided by Black Lotus Labs and take immediate action to secure their systems. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the persistent, an evolving threat posed by state-sponsored cyber actors, particularly those linked to China. In light of these developments, it is crucial for all organizations, especially those in critical infrastructure sectors, to reevaluate their cybersecurity defenses and ensure they are equipped to detect and respond to sophisticated threats like this one. For ongoing updates, monitoring trusted cybersecurity news sources like Digital Guard 114 can provide deeper insights into the evolving landscape of cyber threats and defenses. And now, as we reach the end of our news segment, please remember, for a detailed list of our sources, you can find them in the description of our YouTube video. Thank you to everyone who watched today's program. Remember, by following us, you become part of a reliable source for information and advice. Whether you like the program or not, please press subscribe to join our community. This helps us improve and ensures you are among the first to receive our latest news and programs. Don't forget to hit the like button and share our channel with your friends. Farewell, until we meet again.